I wasn't really sure how to how to feel. I'm someone that's very routine oriented and likes being comfortable in my surroundings. Uh, you know, I don't like feeling out of place. So for me to just kind of go at this time, you know, I was in Arizona spring training. It was West Coast team. Like it was all pretty comfortable for me. And then it was like, hey, you're flying across the country and, you know, figure it out. And I didn't really know too many people. I think the only person I knew with the Braves at that time when I got traded was Lucas Sims. We played with each other. Um, so I really only knew one person. I had to kind of get outside of my outside of my box, outside of my comfort zone and kind of just learn to grow. And to be honest, looking back on it, the trade was probably the best thing that happened to me just because it gave me kind of a clean slate. I was able to be the person that kind of I wanted to be instead of any kind of like preconceived notions at the, my other place. No one really knew me, knew of me. So I kind of was able to come in and it, it almost felt the same way when I went into Harbor Westlake where, um, you know, I was kind of just that new kid, didn't really know anyone. Uh, you know, I was able to kind of just flourish and just be, be who I wanted to be instead of, you know, having previous years of people kind of have an idea about you. So you, you're kind of, it's a new clean slate. And from there, I was kind of able to take off. It was a little rough at the beginning, but um, the one thing that I do have to give about the Braves and the guys that we have is we have some unbelievable people and like really good teammates that are there to support you. Um, good, bad, uh, or indifferent. Like you have guys that are, that have your back and, you know, that can actually genuinely care. Cause a lot of the times you can get to a lot of just independence in baseball where everyone's kind of out for themselves and, you know, it can be that way. But for the most part, the, the culture that we've created here, it's kind of been in this way since, you know, I could ever remember even going back to, you know, watching the Braves in the nineties and stuff. It's always kind of been this family team environment that's kind of just allowed guys to be themselves and take off yeah and and one thing I'm gonna point out too that he said that you know because obviously this podcast like we're all always about trying to empower and you know and better Bro. people's lives or whatever and you know just talking about like getting traded um, not many people understand what it feels like to get traded because you know they're not professional for you to get traded to another team and um, and there's always two ways that you can take it. And, you know, and, and it really goes with anything like, uh, you know, your boyfriend, girlfriend dumps you, this and that. Like, there's so many different things where, like, there's two different ways you can look at it. One of them, and, and I feel like is always the initial, like, thing that you have to get past is that when you get traded, like, it's easy to look at and say, oh, this team, like, doesn't want me. This team doesn't think I'm, like, valuable. This team... Uh, like they never cared about me anyways, or like for me being loyal to you being such a big thing, like, wow, this team is so disloyal. Uh, it's easy to look at it in that way. But once you get to the point where it's like, where you, where you can actually look at it as an opportunity and understand that you're actually worth a ton because they, whoever you got traded to, you know, you for Justin Upton, like he was a hot commodity and for you to, be seen as that valuable to get dealt to Atlanta, um, you know, and, and they were willing to, yes, they were willing to part ways with you, but at the end of the day, the Braves were a team that like really, really, really wanted you and they understood what kind of potential and everything that you had. So the easier we can like flip that mindset to looking at the optimistic side, I feel mm -hmm. like it will allow like your journey to take off and flourish because it's so easy to get caught up in like, the uh, what was me kind of deal, but that mm -hmm. never has never helped anybody.